Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to IT Type Reviewers. In this video, I kind of have a PSA for you guys and also for developers of any iPhone app uh, that's out there. So with iOS 11, uh, in case you guys didn't know, uh, it's basically dropping support for 32-bit uh, devices and applications. So that means if your app isn't updated to 64-bit, it's not gonna run. So for example, App Shopper here, I can't run it. I know on iOS 10, it would occasionally give, you know, like an, uh, an alert like, oh, this app needs to be updated. Now it literally won't run. I have another app called Photogene. Uh, it also won't run. So I've emailed the developers of both of these apps, uh, never got a response back for Photogene. Uh, and App Shopper, they just said, basically too bad, it's over, they're not updating it anymore, whatever. So App Shopper is a really cool app. So if you guys wanna check and see if your apps are actually supported or not with iOS 11, all you have to do is hop into settings, go to general, then hit about and then applications, and it will show you which applications don't work. So you can see right here, uh, these are the apps and I can click on this here and uh, open it up in the app store and it says at the top, this app is no longer supported on iOS 11. I think sometimes, or most of the time, I can't even search for this app. So uh, that was kind of getting to it a special way. Let me try again here, App Shopper. Yeah, so it's not gonna show up. Uh, so yeah, that's the only way I could get to that app was by clicking on it. So uh, there's no updates available obviously for these apps right now because the developer has not pushed out uh, an update and I doubt they will. So if you guys wanna check which apps are compatible with iOS 11 right now on your phone. Just hop into settings, general, about, and then hit applications and you can see all the apps that aren't gonna work. So this is a huge PSA guys. Don't update to iOS 11, uh, you know, right away, uh, either now for the public beta or dev beta or in fall, if you need a specific app, make sure you save all your data first or transfer it out, take screenshots, whatever you need to do. Uh, just do that before you update, just so you guys know this. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you're a developer, please update your app to 64-bit. There's absolutely no reason not to. Uh, just you're going to lose a lot of people with iOS 11 when it comes out. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Uh, if you liked it, hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.